have an old dirty starter motor here from my scooter. I'm going to clean it up and make it look brand new. Get a wire wheel, put it in a drill, and it's going to lightly go over it and clean off the crap that's on it. I'm going to run some water, very careful not to get any in the motor. I'm going to use 2,000 sandpaper, clean this thing up. See right here, it's starting to clean up a little bit. get on it like that and then spin it around like this. Here's what it looks like finished. You can clean it as good as you want. This front part here was replaced because the brushes wore out. This part here, I don't know why they make this so cheap. It's like how much would it cost to make it out of stainless steel. So this part here I painted with Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer. This part here, it's a waste of time painting it because this is going to be inside the engine anyways. And this seal you want to put your fingers on here and if you can feel it protruding above this aluminum part here then the seal is good. I'm also going to put some additive on it. I'll show you that later. Now I'm just going to, I want to, I'm going to put it in this foam so I can paint it. I'm going to put it in this foam so I can paint it. This side to clean real good. Now you can, you can paint it whatever color you want. I kind of, I like the metallic look to it so I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to use a clear coat to help protect it from corroding and rusting. This is steel here so this will rust. This is aluminum so it will corrode. So I'm just going to go around it and paint it. Another tip when you're working on your bike, when you have stuff taken out, like the starter motors out here, you want to put some plastic in there just to keep moisture and rain out of there. Here's what the starter motor looks like. Finished. Nice and shiny. Not sure how long it'll keep it from rusting. It's going to rust again. It's like impossible to stop the rust. Before you put it back, in the bike, if you have some of this stuff, don't buy a whole bottle just for this. You can take some of this stuff, you can put it on the seal here to help keep it nice and soft and pliable so it'll seal to prevent that common oil leak you get right here. And there's a seal inside the motor in here as well. If your starter motor is old and you take it apart, make sure you put vice grips on this part here. Don't put them too tight because you don't want to damage these teeth. But you put it there. Because if you don't, when you pull this off, there's a magnet in here. It's going to keep the rotor back. And then it'll pop it off the brushes. And it's not fun to try to get the brushes back on the rotor. So if you keep this in here, it'll keep this part back where the, brush, the brushes are in this part in the front. It'll keep it there so you can take it apart. As it comes apart right here, there's another seal in there. There's two bolts on the back. And when you put the bolts back on, it can be tricky because the magnets will catch them and pull them away from the threads that are up in here. Just some things to know about if you work on your starter motors. Put a little bit of this stuff in the cap. 
That's all you need. Let gravity do its thing and pull it around. And you can wipe off the excess. Hopefully that'll help keep it sealed so you don't have an oil leak in this area. Severity of the oil leak when it happens in this area varies. Let's put it back in.